Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, this is a problem that says locate the center of mass x bar, y bar, c bar of the homogeneous solid block. So basically, we have a problem that is consisted of uh, two parts, two blocks, this being Let's call this one block one, and let's call this one block two. And you know that their centroids are located exactly at the center in 3D. You gotta imagine this. This is exactly inside of that of that shape, right at the center. So with this, we can build our table. Our table will look something like this. We have the volume. Let's call this the shape. We have shape one and shape two. X curly, Y curly, C curly, which is the location of the centroid of each shape. And then we have the multiplication of each of these values times the volume. And this is our table. And then this problem is all about building this table and understanding what goes where. So first we're going to find the volume of shape 1, which is given by multiplying 4 because of this distance times 2 because of this distance times 3, which should be 24 cubic feet. And that goes right here, 24 cubic feet. Now we need to find the volume of the second shape, which is given by 7, is 2 plus 5 times 6, which is this height, times the thickness, which is 2, given right here. And this is equal to 84 cubic feet. Now we need to find the location of each centroid. So let's do this one first, which is the centroid for number one. It's located at the half point of that shape. And you know that that shape is in the x-axis already shifted over two feet to give room to the other shape. Therefore, it's sitting at four feet in the x. So if the x-axis Somewhere right here, this is 4 feet, right here. In the Y, it should be one, f 1 foot, which is half of this. And then you go up to go on the C axis, 1.5 feet, which is half the rectangle. Now we're going to do the other one, which is sitting at 1 foot in the X. So you go one foot here, then you go on the Y, 3.5 feet, because this shape is seven foot wide on the Y axis, so half of that is 3.5. And then you go up on the C axis, three feet, which is half of this. Now all you got to do is multiply the volume by each of the coordinates to fill out the rest of the table. So I'm just going to do it really quick. 96 feet to the fourth, 24 feet to the fourth, and 36 feet to the fourth, which you get by multiplying the volume by each of these three figures. We repeat for the bottom, and we get 84 feet cube, 294 feet to the fourth, sorry, this is not Q, this is to the fourth, and this is 252 feet to the fourth. And all you gotta do now is, oops, I didn't leave enough room here to write my sum. Let me make some room. Put that over there. This is the sum of 24 plus 84, which is 108 cubic feet. And this is the sum of each of the multiplication uh, columns, which is 180 cubic feet, 
318. Again, I keep saying cubic feet. This is to the fourth. 286 feet to the fourth. It's important that you get your units right because that's how you know that your equations are in the right direction because they're going to cancel out and give you the right answer. So now that we have our column, we can find x bar, y bar, and c bar by dividing each of the results by the sum of the volume. And if you put your units, you're going to see that they cancel out perfectly. So this would be 180 over the volume, which is 108 to the third. So what you got left? 1.67. And if you look at your units, they cancel out to give you feet. And same for the rest. 318 over 108 cubic feet. And the last one is 286 over 108 cubic feet. And the units cancel perfectly. And the answer is 2.94 cubic feet and 2.65 feet. Sorry, it's just feet because it all canceled out. So this is the coordinates of the centroid, which will be located, let me see, 1.67 times 2.94 is somewhere over there. So it's somewhere over here, if you can use your imagination to imagine this 3D. This is the centroid of this um, composite shape. So final answer, final answer.